today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because my boyfriend is way too jealous and way too insecure. He needs to get past his issues so we can get back to our lives and set a wedding date. Him having a lock on his phone. I don't have a lock on my phone, so that makes me think that he's hiding something. Our communication is non-existent. He goes in his little spasms and he don't come out. I don't have time for that. The communication with me and William right now is kind of rocky because I don't trust him at all. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Aramis Cannon and William Smith. The two of you have been together for two and a half years. You love one another, but you can't decide whether or not you should marry. So you've come to me on a before the vows. You filled out my compatibility test, given me your license with permission to tear it up. Should I con consider this a bad idea? And Mr. Smith, you have brought with you your sister, uh, Marcus Sum Summer Marcus. And uh, she has some things she wants to say about this relationship. But before I get to that, Mr. Cannon, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me how you two got together and why you're not so sure this is the right thing? Well, we got together about two and a half years ago. It's, it's been kind of good, um, but lately it's gotten rocky ever since I proposed to him. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was cool in the beginning. Yeah, it, it was, was cool all straight. It was all good. But now, since I proposed about uh, six months ago, it's been rocky. I don't know if it's like uh, since we committed, it's like he's scared and. Well, what has changed? Um, just him. He's he's more distant now. He's more gone. It's not like the same. It's not close like how we used to be. You know, it's. Okay. Now, before you two got together, were you dating other people? Were you, got, you well, single on your own? How did... I had just got out of something that was, you know, it was... I had got, got my heart broken uh -huh. um, by someone. And um, basically, when I had met William, he kind of, you know, stepped in and it... How long between the time you got your heart broken it was and just, you met it was just, it was, it, was, it wasn't too far apart at all. It, 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 Almost yeah, right afterwards. That's what it, I kind of like. We rushed into things. Yeah, back yeah. to back. That's a, that's another violation of one of my dating rules. You know, you got to <laughs> breathe yeah. for a moment on yeah. your own before you get in something else. Yeah. Doesn't mean this ain't gonna work. I'm just letting you know yeah. it, it's it's against the rules. Mr. Smith, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Why I'm don't good. you tell me your perspective on this? Okay, I understand union. exactly where he's coming from. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I I thought from the beginning that we was rushing into it too, and I kept saying from the beginning. You know, uh, we need to take time. We need to make sure we got it together. We need to make sure this is what you want. I need to make sure this is what I want. I don't want to be commenting nothing, and we can't get it together. You know, so against my better will, I went on ahead and said, okay, yeah. You know, this is what it is, and this is what it's going to be. Now, he says the relationship changed after the proposal. No, nah, it changed feel before. That? It changed before the no. proposal. Well, when did it change, it and how did it change? No. It changed It changed beforehand when... Um, it changed after. It, it changed, changed before. It changed. It changed. Hey, hang on, it changed. Mr. Cannon. Mr. Cannon, Mr. Cannon, hang on. First, you tell me what you think. First, it changed before. The trust issues went way out the door. He puts me in the same category as his ex. He thinks I'm his ex. I'm even the same color as his ex. I don't know if he got me confused with his ex. Or but what? He, or what? Exactly. Or what? I don't know what. I don't That's know what. Well, doing. tell me how some of those trust issues demonstrate themselves. What is he doing that? makes you feel he doesn't trust you. We could be laying down in the bed, you know, just out of nowhere, he, he'll swing the cover, swear to God, somebody's there, checking under the beds for something, checking in the bathroom for something, but guess what? We've been together all day. We've been so, together all day long. Where could somebody come from? You, do, do you jump out of the bed and start looking Your for Honor, people? Th that's, those are the things that I'm saying. Like, ever since we've, uh, since, since I proposed, it's been a lot of different things. Like, he'll make it seem like somebody's there. I know I'm not crazy. He'll make it seem <laughs> yes, like somebody's like, there. He'll make How's it he doing that? Yes, he'll make it seem like somebody's there or, or he's laying in the, like, we'll be laying in the bed and... No, uh-uh. No, hey, no, no, hang on, no, Mr. Smith. Like, we'll I be want... laying in the bed and... I will, he'll be holding me or something, or I can be holding him, or he'll act like somebody's behind him, too, as well. I know, I know <laughs> nobody's there, but I swear he's doing it. I, I, I know I sound crazy, but... You do! But still, he... <laughs> but he's doing it intentionally. It's like he's pushing so me he away. So he's like he's messing trying to with your away. head. Yes. Somehow making you believe that there's some other person in the room. Yes. When there's nobody there. Yes. 
Mr. Smith, I don't even know how you respond to something like that. What do you want to say? Him, I tell him just like I tell anybody else I love. We're going to get through this. You know you can trust me. I, you know I got your back. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I'm here to stay. Just like no, that. Yeah, that. Well, I understand always. you guys have issues with your phone because that's what you want to arbitrate oh, about. Yeah, yeah, his you phone. want to decide whether or not you should marry, but if you don't get married, you want three hundred dollars for your phone. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, tell me what happened to his phone. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Tell her what happened to. <laughs> my okay, phone. we were laying down. Uh, he snatches. He snatches my phone. He snatches my phone. Just jets out the room. Just jets out the house. I'm chasing him down. I'm in my underwear. No socks. No shoes. No shirt. No nothing. I'm in my underwear. You had to do all that. <laughs> you chased so me I'm down. So chasing, I'm chasing him for my phone. It's gotta be an oh, issue. What were you running for? I, w I ran with his phone because I wanted to see what it was in it. And you, ch he chased me out the room. So I mean, out the uh, apartment. So it let me know that. It Did was you something. have any clothes on? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> he had on well, you had boxes. I, he had, had, on, I had boxes. on purity five boxer shorts on, like just boxer shorts. And I'm running, and, and I'm just... running. And then I jumped down um, on the little ledge. I done cut my foot up. So I say, just forget it, you know. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Smith. If you are a true and honest and faithful guy, what difference does it make if he sees what's on your phone? I'm big on my privacy. I am big on my privacy. You know what there I mean? We went, be through, no we went through. We went through. We went through a, a phase of no codes on phones. We went through a phase of we had a no code rule. You know what I mean? We that still we, have we're, a no code we're, we're, we're not supposed to have codes on our phone. But then we go, I go, we, we take each other's phones, and then each time it's something, he trying to put something with nothing, and then trying to, trying to flip this so it can fit here. You know, that ain't yeah, the just, key, you baby. Make, you yeah. can't turn that key, it don't fit. It just don't fit. Yeah. We're going to move on from here. I want to hear from uh, Mr. Smith's sister. Uh, for a moment. I want to see where the family fits in, why she felt it was necessary to come here and say her piece with respect to your union. You don't have anything against him personally, though, do she you? She has do to you? have something against me personally because... Why do you think? She had bleached my clothes. She put ketchup and mustard <laughs> on my clothes. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> yeah, she did that, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Marcus, uh... She left us did at you, the store, did, too. Did you, what, <laughs> no. did you tear up his clothes? I did. Now, it is my understanding, Mr. Smith, that your family is not overjoyed not by your choice of partners. Right. Tell me what their concern is, and then as you're doing that, I'm going to have your sister, uh, Ms. Marcus, come forward. I mean, it's just all about the lifestyle. You know, um, my mom, she's a God-fearing woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so is my sister. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, they're just strictly by the book. You know what I mean? So, and, I, and I can't do anything but respect them for that. You know, so um, I just try hard to, to try to maintain balance between the both, between my relationship and my family ship. Mm -hmm. So, it's is this team. your first? I mean, did they know you were gay before you got with Mr. Cannon, or is yes. this your first relationship? No, th they knew I was gay before. So, but so they're not necessarily unhappy with him; they're unhappy with the idea of him. Well, when they try, to, when they try to uh, res respect us and you know, join in, join with us and stuff like that. They but they butted heads. Let me ask Ms. Margaret. Ms. Margaret, what do you feel about this relationship and Mr. Cannon? Your Honor, first of all, this, I do not approve of it. I disagree. Um, just with that lifestyle and based on my beliefs and my religion, mm -hmm. same-sex anything, I just, I don't agree with that. It has nothing to do with Aramis personally. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm even, I even tell them, both of them, because I love Aramis just as much as I love my brother, that, you know, you can't prosper from that in my mind. And everyone has the right to have their own religious beliefs, and those right. beliefs dictate certain things, and I right. understand that. But just on a logical tip, do you think he chose to be this way, or do you think he was born this way? Well, I think as far as your relationship, right. I think as far as your relationship, you have a choice. Whoever you can, you can be who you are. You can be who you are. Um, it's just that as far as who you pick to date, who you pick to live with, who you pick to deal with, that's a choice. Things are what they are, but I I do realize that gay people naturally gravitate. No more than I choose. I, I like dudes. That's just what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick. I didn't think, hmm. And, and, you know, uh -huh. it's just 
what it was. So, yeah. having said that, you don't have anything against him personally, though, do she you? She has or do to you? have something against me personally because. Why do you think? She had bleached my clothes. She put ketchup and mustard <laughs> on my clothes, <laughs> and it's <laughs> yes, she did that, Your Honor. Now, now Ms. Marcus, uh, she left us did, at the did, store did, too. Did you uh, no. did you tear up his clothes? I did. And, and for what purpose? I'm still was, trying to find out. I was very upset. They they were getting some things out of a car that they had. Um, they had an altercation, which caused just a flurry in all three of us. So we all three were... It was like an altercation with all three of us. So I, I left his clothes. And I did bleach them, and I did put ketchup on them. Mustard, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, to me, that was just a sign to say from... Honestly, it was a sign to, t to tell him to it get out. It was something that he was telling what... her. It was something he was telling her. And it was just a hot mess. Y'all were in there just carrying her on for her to do in that. some ratchet nonsense behavior going on. You got mad. He got everybody was hooping and hollering, screaming and carrying on, and she just took it to the ultimate went, and, and went and bleached your clothes, which is just so wrong. It's really I wrong. mean, that's just ratchet <laughs> and rugged. I mean, you know what I mean? You're not even in the relationship and you messing up the man's That's what I'm saying. That's how much she feels for me. I respect my sister, you know, and I but respect it's... her. I respect her vision. I respect what she said. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't with agree it. with it. Right, but, but I respect but you it. Respect you know, I respect and that. And I respect her. I respect that as well. I really, really do. Yeah. But, 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 but keep your hands off other people's stuff. <laughs> she just... She... All right? <laughs> Well, what's the old school vote? Well, they just like, pow, pow, pow. Oh, I got you. Madonna. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, but now it's more yeah, fluid. More fluid and then, you know, like that. So, yeah. I got you. <laughs> All right, then. You can't get fluid with it? <laughs> I guess I'm stuck in the box. So. Okay. <laughs> Should William have scolded his sister for destroying Aramus's clothes? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. I took a look at your compatibility test, and <laughs> Mr. Smith, I had to, I had to double-check what you said over here. And, and Now, remember, this is a before your vows, <laughs> right? They're considering marriage. You said he's insecure, disrespectful, jealous, mentally abusive, and inconsiderate. Mm-hmm. What? How is he mentally abusive? Because, like, I'm, 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 I'm me. So you see me. You know, I'm, I'm okay. But he can, he can down somebody. He can down somebody just by his words to make a person feel just low. You know what I mean? Had me second thinking, like, okay, well, maybe I should second thinking going to go do the show. While I was in Miami, I was dancing. Maybe I should second think to go do the show. You know what I mean? So I just don't. He just, he just downs me to the point to where I just can't. I just. But don't hey, even tell feel him, good. tell him, tell him what the show, the the show, what it was. It wasn't a show. It was actually him. What, dancing, stripping at a club. Uh -huh. I didn't know he was a stripper at the but, time. No, 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 but what did you say to him? You could say, I don't approve, I don't think it's a good idea, but you, did you did did you make him feel less no, than I because not, he was doing it? He never even told me. He, called, he, he, called me, he, he called. never told me. He, he was, never told me about him dancing. He asked me to come to the club and told me he was booked, and I didn't know what that meant about him being booked. So me and my friend went to the club. We had got us some drinks. Miami club. It was kind of But you can't even fault me for that. I just wasn't and ready to I tell him. And then I saw him in the club shaking and gyrating with some gold uh, drawers on up in the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the drawers I had just bought him just dancing in the club. And I was like, wow. Now, Mr. Smith, you could have so broke shocked. it to him a little easier, I um, think, other no, than just see, jumping out there with Because, him. see, in Miami, the club costs $25 to get in. Okay, that night it cost twenty five dollars. Did I think they were all gonna go in there and spend that twenty five dollars? No, I didn't think that. Oh, it didn't occur to you he chill. He did. I, I got you. So I he wasn't you. supposed to. He wasn't supposed to come. I mean, I wasn't ready to tell him just yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Respect that. Respect okay. that knowledge. But you asked me to come. So. I... <laughs> See how you, you you guys like each other though, right? Yeah, I that's mean, my baby. We, okay. He's your baby. Give me 30 seconds of, an, of, of, of why this is the man for you out of all other ones. Why you, at 22, 
which is very young, is. are exactly. ready to make that exactly. kind of commitment. Yes, exactly. and it, 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 age has always been a big factor. It has always been a big yeah, factor because, within what, our relationship. What do you mean? In what way? Because um, in gay life, 25 is the new 40. <laughs> 22 is the new 28. <laughs> you yeah, know what he's a, so, he, he, he <laughs> so, always calls like, me like like it's, it's a it's a big it's a big a, it's an age difference because of the stuff that what he experienced in a lifestyle mm. and what I experienced in a lifestyle. Uh -huh. You know, um, it's two. It's like it's different almost parts. generational, right? Like a whole different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like the people who came out with the Vogue, the old school Vogue, compared to the new school Vogue, and then the Jason, and then all of that stuff. You know, but we are part of the different. What's the new school Vogue? Huh? <laughs> like the Vogue dramatics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like well, what's the old school vote? <laughs> Where they just like pow pow vote. Oh, I got you, <laughs> so, yeah. Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah. 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 Okay, oh, but now it's more <laughs> yeah, fluid. More fluent, and then you know, like that. So yeah. I got you. <laughs> All right then. You can't get fluid with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm stuck in the box. So. Okay. <laughs> 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 Mr. Cannon, just when I thought you were dry, you just, <laughs> just, just pop one out. <laughs> Mr. Cannon, why do you want to be with Mr. Smith? Well, because, I, I mean... That's not a good start. I, <laughs> it, it really isn't, because it has been good Well, let lately, me ask you something. Do and, you want to be with Mr. Smith? I really do. Are you totally there and present? I'm, I'm totally almost there in present. <laughs> <laughs> totally almost. What's the almost all about? The skepti the skept skepticism. The skepticism. Yeah, <laughs> of uh, the cheating and the lies. You really, do, you really think he's cheating? Yes, I really do. Yes, he leaves and he'll leave for hours and then he'll come back and say he was just with his friend and his phone was dying. We but when he's around me. That phone ain't dead. The phone is on. It's, it's juiced up. The hook. It's right. on full flat. Right. It's fully full charge you. and everything. I got you. Should Aramis reconsider his plans to marry William? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. First of all, I like the two of you. Thank you. I, I Thank like you. you both. I think you're good guys. I, I, I don't. I don't hear no. I don't hear any super ratchetness over there. It's it's, <laughs> it's two people in a relationship trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. You got Thank one you. guy who's been hurt, and I don't think you're absolutely altogether over it. Uh, you jumping out of the bed thinking there's a third party in the room. I mean that is just deep. <laughs> I mean, very, very deep. And then you believe that he is intentionally encouraging you to believe that some mysterious third party has appeared in your room and, 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 and... And I checked the whole room. Yeah, well, that, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and that concerns me. That you are so... In, your insecurity is so deep that you'd Thank have to you. get but up I and search the you. room. Thank you. You know what I mean? And I don't know, you know, the first time somebody did that to me, I'd run. I just, <laughs> I, you know, I'm not sure. And I'm sure you love him and I'm sure you care for him, but you know, you guys are running down the street in your boxes, over the phone, you know, you're having arguments, tearing up the clothes. Well, she tore up the clothes, but mm. I don't think you're there yet. When you're ready to be married, you're there. Right. You're settled in it. You're looking forward to it. There's a future about it. It's not of like, I'm not even comfortable alone in a room with them. I got to search the closet. That's not there. There is a long way from here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this little mayor certificate. I'm not going to tear it up because you nice people. I don't want to leave you with that visual. I'm just going to close it up into my little book and walk on off and tell you both to have a wonderful life. You know, stay together, if you please. But don't get married now. This matter is adjourned. After speaking with the judge today, I feel secure in me and Aramis' relationship. I feel secure as well, but I just got to work on being not so insecure and I guess not so crazy behind, you know, stuff that isn't there, I guess. And I just got to watch out for my sexy eyes. Hope we can one day get married soon. One day. <laughs>